Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare. Good afternoon, planet Earth. How is everyone doing today? I haven't been in, in touch with you for a couple of months now. And one of the reasons that someone stole my camcorder, two men, moving men, delivery men, brought a mattress into my house and stole the camcorder on their way out. You know, it's a little small one. So, I still haven't replaced it. But I found a software off the internet that I'm using now to do recording with my own camcorder that's connected to this computer. It doesn't seem to be working very well right now. But anyway, we have two videos that we're going to be uploading today. And the videos are going to be about this picture behind me, Lord Nishringale. This is the Lord of Protection. He's a warrior God, incarnation from Lord Krishna. He's killing a demon on his lap. Last Saturday was his holy day, and we celebrated with making a feast watching movies about him, reading about him, having a kirtan, musical spiritual prayers to him. So in these videos, Lord Shiva Prabhupada is going to be telling us a little bit about the history of this picture behind me of Lord Nishringa Day. It's going to be talking about the history of Lord Nishringa Day. And it's broken up into two parts. So the first part we're going to play, then we'll have part two right behind it. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. Listen closely. And Lord Nishringa Day is a great God for protection. Everyone should have this picture in their home for spiritual and material protection. All right? Listen closely. Hare Krishna. The story of Maha Maharaj is eternally true. There is always a struggle between the atheist and the thieves. If a person becomes God conscious, Krishna conscious, so he will find many enemies because the world is full of demands. What to speak of the devotee of Krishna, even Krishna when he personally came, he had to kill so many demands. Uh, there was his maternal and uncle, his mother's brother, very kindly related, still he wanted to kill Krishna. As soon as any son was born to Devaki, immediately he killed, because he did not know who will be Krishna. The prediction was that the eighth child of his sister will kill Kansa. So he began to kill all the children. At last Krishna came, but he could not kill Krishna. He was killed by Krishna. So nobody can kill God. The demands, godless society, 
they simply want to kill God. But actually, God is never killed, but the demon is killed by God. That is the law of nature. This is the instruction from Prahlad Maharaj's life we can understand that <coughs> as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Mittu Sarva Harashta Aham. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita it is said that I am also death in the shape of taking away everything, whatever you possess. We are very much proud of possessing material things, material acquisitions. But when Krishna comes, just like uh, Maharaj, uh, Prahlad Maharaj saw, Hiranakashipu, uh, his father also saw, Vishingale, uh, this Hiranakashipu was very clever. As a materialist, scientists are very clever. Uh, cleverly they are inventing so many things. Uh, what is the idea? The idea is we shall live forever and enjoy a sense gratification more and more. This is called atheistic advancement of civilization. The Hirana Kosibu was typical materialist. Hirana means gold and Kosibu means soft bed, cushion. The materialist person, they are very much fond of gold and enjoying sex. That is their business. The Hirana Kosibu is the typical example of this materialistic person. And Prahlad Maharaj, Pratishtu Bhena Allah, Allah means transcendental bliss, Ananda Chinmaya Rasa Pratibhavita, uh, living entities, real uh, identification is Prahlad, blissfulness. But on account of material association, we are in miserable condition of life. So this Hiranagoshivo wanted to become immortal. And he underwent penances, severe penances, so much so the whole universe became trembled. So that Ma, yeah, Brahma, Lord Brahma had to come to pacify him. What do you want? So he wanted to become immortal. Lord Brahma said that although I have got very long duration of life, the duration of life of Brahma is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Sahasra Juga Pajantam Arhajyat Brahmano Vidu. Sahasra Juga. One group of Yuga, Sattva, Dapur, Kali, it becomes uh, about 43 lakhs of years. Uh, and multiply these 43 lakhs of years by 1000. That duration of time is Brahma's 12 hours, one day. Sahasra Yuga Pajyantam Arhajya Brahmano Vidu. So that Brahma, who lives for millions and trillions of years, is still here to God. Janma Mitra Jarabhadi, Dukkha Dushana Darshan. Wherever you go within this material world, either in the Brahma Loka or in the Pada Loka, you are to God. That is the problem. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, real problem is Janmamitya Jarabhadi, birth, death, old age and disease. Just try to solve. You know, because you wanted to solve this in a materialistic way. But that is not possible. So in a negative way, he wanted that I shall not die on the land, I shall not die in the air, 
I shall not die in the water. I shall not be killed by any man-made weapon. In so many ways, negatively, he thought that he has become immortal. But Krishna is so intelligent that keeping all the words or the blessings given by Lord Brahma to Hirana Kusipo, he killed him. This guy Hirana Kusipo wanted that he would not be killed either at day or in night. So Hirana Kusipo was killed neither at day or neither in night. But just in the beginning of evening, which is neither day nor night. Then he wanted that he shall not be killed in the air, in the water, or in the land. So he was killed on the lap of the Lord. So he wanted that he would not be killed by any weapons made by man. So Lord killed him with his nails. Yes. Kava kara kama labare na kama du bhukta singa. Dhanita hiran na kasiputa no bhringa. Kesa vadhita narahari rupa. Jaya jagadi sahari. So we cannot see the God. That is not possible. I was scientifically, he may be a God. God is always more intelligent than ourselves. We should always remember. Uh, so that is the difference between demon and devotee. Devotee knows that God is great. I am his eternal servant. So he remains the humble servant of Krishna. Therefore he has no danger. Even if he has danger, he will be saved. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Om Deya Pradijani hi nami bhakta pranasat. Om Deya Pradijani hi ajyam. He can declare it all over the world. That anyone who has taken shelter at my local street becomes the body. He will never be vanquished. Uh, Aumpa sarvapapi bhama parishami matu. So these are the assurance. But the atheist class of men like Shirana Prasipo cannot understand. Uh, that is the defect. Uh, the challenge always God. The dissension between the father and the son was that the son was believer in God, Krishna, and the father was not. So, at the end, the father saw what is God in the form of death. Uh, at that time he could not save him. So that is the difference between peace and ethics. The atheist always challenges, where is God? Can you show me? Well, you will see. Not now, but at the maturation of your all sinful activities. When death will come, you will see. This is going on. It is very instructive lesson. Prahlad Maharaj, now it is getting less. Otherwise, I would have recited some of the verses uh, recited by Sri Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj is one of our gurus. There are twelve gurus or Mahajans. Ah, Sambhu Narada Sambhu Kumara Kapila Mano Prahlada Janaka Bhishma Bali Vaya Sati Vayam. Ah, actually, if we want to make progress in spiritual life, we have to follow the Mahajan, the great personality. They are mentioned in the Shastra. Sambhu Narada Sambhu. Sambhu means Brahma. Lord Brahma is Swayambhu. Without father and mother, he became manifest. Therefore, his name is Swayambhu. Uh, of course, his father is Narayana, but not in the usual way. Uh, 